So guys, for the first step, you need to get to this screen. You might need to restart your computer, but once you get to this screen, you wanna click on the power button, and then you wanna hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. Make sure that you're holding on shift. Now as the computer is restarting, you wanna keep holding shift, which will then take you into this screen. Another way to get to this screen is you wanna turn off your computer and then turn it back on, and then as soon as you see the Windows logo, you wanna turn off your computer again. You want to repeat this three times and then it'll bring you into this screen. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on troubleshoot, and then click on advanced options, and then click on startup settings. And now you wanna click on restart. And now once this screen appears, you wanna click on F5 or just click on five, which will then enable safe mode of networking. And now once you're on this, you just wanna sign into Windows again. And now we're gonna be in safe mode. Your screen is gonna look like this. Now once you're on this, you wanna head over to search and then type in run and click on enter. Now we're gonna type in msconfig and click on enter again. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on services and then you wanna look for eLand services. I don't have it on my computer, but you're gonna have something called eLand services. Now once you find it, you wanna untick it and then click on apply. And now once you've done that, you wanna head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. Now once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan has been completed, you wanna click on okay. And then you wanna click on restart. But make sure that you complete the scan first. And then you wanna click on restart. And now you're gonna go back into normal windows and then the problem should be fixed.